Howdy, y'all, and welcome to Geekism. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just kidding. That was terrible. My humblest of apologies if you are uh, unused to me and my channel. Uh, this isn't Geekism. I'm not Jaunty, and this is Pinewood Hills. But this isn't his channel. Uh, I've been super fortunate. By the way, hi everyone. I'm Mass Bandit. Thanks so much for being here today. I really do appreciate it. Especially if you are a frequenter, frequenter of geekism. Uh, nice to have you here. And hopefully you enjoy this episode, this mini time lapse. And you enjoy where we're headed with Jaunty's little project here. I say little project like it's something that's not amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm so pumped uh, to be working in Pinewood Hills. If this is your first time on the channel and you're a little confused, yes, I did get Pinewood Hills from Jaunty. He was um, silly enough to hand the park over to me while he tended to some business. And so uh, I I'm, I'm taking good care of it. I'm taking good care of it. Uh, I'm not touching anything he did yet, at least. Uh, you'll notice here, we are building a little station for a coaster that um, didn't exist before. Yes. You'll also notice that there's no video of me making this coaster, and uh, hopefully you'll get no really good view of this coaster. I want to save a lot, as much as I can, for the big reveal, which is going to be later in May. So you're going to have to wait for a little bit longer. Uh, but anyway, I have Pinewood Hills for, the, uh, for a few weeks, and I, I, it took me a while to get rolling. It took me a little while to get ready to, to do this. Um, a lot of research, a lot of ideas, and it was hard because John T was, was very open, and, and I thank him for that. He was like, yeah, just build whatever, budget-friendly. And he said, 70s, budget-friendly and 70s. Okay, uh, this isn't an American park. This is his version of a British park of something I know very little about. I did a couple walkthroughs of some of the bigger parks in the UK, uh, Alton Towers and um, Fort Park, and took a look around uh, Blackpool Leisure Beach Boardwalk, but I don't think that's necessarily the style he's going for here. So my frame of reference is uh, lacking. So I'm kind of just resting on my strengths, which is super generic. And I've been sending a couple images to Jaunty um, to double check that I'm headed in the right direction. Uh, so don't worry, he's on board with these things, most of these things. I've, I've shown him a good chunk of these things. But uh, I'm about to cut him off. I'm probably not going to show him much more after this, because we're getting to a point where it's starting to look kind of cool. I'm, I'm getting kind of happy with it. So yeah, uh, this station, the coaster itself is a, if you want to know where we're headed, the coaster itself is a basically ripoff of Demon, which is an aero coaster that's found in two parks in the United States here. They are built by Aerodynamics. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Europe doesn't have a lot of aero coasters. I understand, I'm aware. Um, but they do have a few, and so why can't we say that Pinewood Hills is one of those lucky enough to have a true arrow, a la Blackpool Pleasure Beach? Because they do. And so that's the support structure is going to be similar to Arrow. Uh, we're going to even go with the history of this ride when it comes to the lore of this area. The history of this ride will mirror that of the demon at Six Flags Great America. I think it's Six Flags California something or other. It's not Magic Mountain, I know that much. But anyway... Um, that's all you're going to see for the coaster for this episode. Now, when Jaunty said generic, I wanted to find the most generic thing I could possibly find. So I went uh, to the most generic place I know, and that's uh, Cedar Point. <laughs> uh, I've been to Cedar Point a few times, and let's be honest, they're not known for their um, immersive themes, shall we say. And, and in my head, I always had this one idea there's this one stand, this one um, quick service restaurant called the Happy Friars. And they serve hot uh, uh, corn dogs and um, a bunch of French fries, you know, the, the normal theme park food. 
And I found a picture of it. Google Street View is my friend. And I tried to replicate it as closely as I could. Um, the roof pieces here, they, they're either too big or too small for what I wanted to do. So I opted for the too small uh, variant. And I actually think it turned out really, really well. Um, so this is going to be a very similar rendition of, the, uh, of, of what you would find at Cedar Point. Now, I know Cedar Point is an American park, but it, it just screamed. It looked like one of the older stands in the park, perhaps from the 70s. Uh, kind of just generic, kind of not dilapidated, but definitely like, yeah, this is old and we don't care. And so I, I think this building and the one after this, also modeled after Cedar Point, are the two most generic things um, I've, I've ever built. Uh, if you don't know me from Bro Coaster, if, again, if you're if you're here because of John T, and you haven't watched Bro Coaster, but you like this whole realistic generic, if you like Pinewood Hills because of its realistic approach, I, I encourage you to check out um, Planet Bro Coaster, the series uh, N7. Mike and I are currently involved in, along with us, several other people. And actually, John T uh, has some parts of his work in the park, too. I'm going to say it right here and right now, and I'll also say it in the next Pro Coaster episode. We use John T's awesome basketball midway games in the park. So he's actually represented in No Name Landia as well, which is the name of the park in Bro Coaster. If you haven't seen it, I, I highly encourage you to watch it. If you like this style of park, if you're a fan of Pinewood, you'll be a fan of No Name Landia. And so, but even this that I'm building right now is super generic compared to some of the stuff I was building for, for Pro Coaster. So I, I, I like that I've kind of, I didn't think I could go even more generic, but I found even more generic. And another thing I was really, really surprised with when doing some research and trying to find these generic stalls was, especially at Cedar Point, um, really surprised at how few like eating establishments and um, souvenir establishments there are at Cedar Point. You can walk for quite a while. I walked in Street View and it never dawned on me all the times I was there. Uh, just there's some areas that are really sparse and it's a lot of outdoor vendors. It's a lot of carts, um, not so much brick and mortar, which is really kind of interesting, which is something um, you can expect in this new area for Pinewood Hills. Uh, there's going to be a couple kind of, I guess, landmark shops, and they're landmark in their genericness. Let's not get uh, fancy here. But then I, I think I want to incorporate a lot of outdoor vendors. I think I'm going to use some that I've used in my previous parks and that some of the other people uh, on our Discord server, Bro Nation, are using. Um, we'll, we'll probably see a TFB and probably see a Mind Gluten. I kind of want to give Mind Gluten an actual establishment here like a pretzel and slushy vendor or something give it an outdoor or give it a quick service restaurant i think that'd be kind of nice so uh here i am just kind of positioning some things that you get a good hint at the ride lineup for this area there's going to be at least two flats and a coaster i might try one more flat maybe i'll find a custom flat that fits my needs and then here's the thing that's been giving me fits up until this point again super generic um octagonal or is it one two three no six-sided it's a six-sided shape hexagon we're gonna go at a hexagon oh god i feel like an idiot anyway there's this round-ish <laughs> building and it's a drink stall and i wanted it in this park so bad and this is actually my third or fourth attempt at getting this to work right scale was a big issue with this one of the things i pride myself on is scale in this game i do try to keep it small and theme park appropriate planet coaster is not designed in this way it's designed to be big and grand and over the top and that makes the type of building i do rather difficult especially when dealing with actual vendors in this game because they are very tall usually they are way taller than you need them to be so hiding that and making buildings look shorter than they really are is one of the things that i really try to do uh, in my parks and in my builds and that's what we're trying to do here and as i mentioned this is at least the third rendition of this and uh it's it was a struggle to get this to work the way i wanted it to and to get it all to line up once you uh once you rotate it around. I am using that dome technique where you build one face and you build it around. If you're curious, the drink shop, it's a water shop, it's a pip shot water. The water building is actually um, 
its own separate building, which makes it much easier. I can completely ignore it and bu build the face, the side of the building that I want without worrying about uh, constantly clicking on the building. That's one of the tricks that I've learned from some people in the, in, in, in the rec in recent time. God, that was really awkward to say. Apologies. Recently. Oh, here we go. So what I've learned recently is, especially with like, things, something like a custom sign, make each layer of your custom sign a different uh, building. And then you can move them around independently of each other with significant, with much ease. Oh my god, I can't talk tonight. With much more ease. There we go. <laughs> and then once you've got it where you want it, you can delete all the pieces that are making it individual buildings and then just collect them all and make them one building. So that's a little trick, a little hint for you if you're curious. So some more detailing here, getting this overhang. The overhang on the reference image is surprisingly deep because, or surprisingly long, tall because it fits a sign on it. And we try to uh, emulate that as well. Add some pops of color. I was really surprised at all the colors on the on the on the reference, and I wanted to incorporate them here as well. I thought that was uh, pretty good. I shared the finished product of this on Bronation, and and the reviews were that is ugly in a beautiful way. Like it's so generic, it hurts, but it totally makes sense because. This is what a lot of parks have. Again, I'm not sure about the UK. Need to do some more research. Uh, but in America, especially the Cedar Fairs and the Six Flags, this is theming. This is what you get. You get a, stand, a tiny little stall. I think this would work in a zoo setting. Um, I'm actually really, really proud of this, even though it's just kind of generic. I don't, I, I don't think I could get more generic than this. This is... This might be the most generic thing. I know I've already mentioned that, but I think this just might be the most generic thing I've ever I've ever seen. Shout out to Ruble Trillions, one of the bros that is actually helping uh, in No Name Landia and Bro Coaster, and actually has built in Pinewood Hills as well. He built the whole Googie Googie. I don't know that retro area. He built that whole thing, and he uh, built an awesome. Uh, metal roof like this and I stole his technique and I am applying it here in Pinewood and I think it turns out pretty well. I think it's a pretty convincing way to do it. Granted, it's a little piece heavy. This building uh, actually is over a thousand pieces. Shh, don't tell Jaunty. It can be our little secret. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to you for today. And I'm not going to show you anything else. You'll have to wait for the big reveal over on Jaunty's channel, over on Geekism. Uh, he'll be looking at the park uh, for the first time with you guys on that episode. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever. And I'll see you real soon back to regular Mass Bandit content. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.